Hi, I'm Tony True. I'm the CEO of the Venetian Nail and Spa. Well, welcome to another salon construction that uh, we have ongoing right now uh, for a couple weeks. Uh, we are standing in Pompano City, Florida. So pretty much like uh, north of Fort Lauderdale and south of Boca Raton. We're gonna do another walkthrough of a salon under construction where we're doing the underground exhaust system. That's one of the major uh, things that we do in the salon and just wanna show pretty much how much of the detail of the piping of the line, of how much underground we have to do in the salon. And Paige is our uh, superintendent here uh, for this particular uh, construction. Um, so uh, welcome and just come inside. Basically we've got 24 um, pedicure stations. The, the exhaust, everything in orange here shown, all the exhaust is actually pulled up right now. Right now we're finishing up today because we have an inspection at 11 o'clock. So today we're finishing up on the midsection, all the manicures. So we have 20 manicure stations, four in each set of five. So this is the beginning of the underground. See some of the sides, we've got the four inch risers going to eight inch pipe, going to 10, going to 12, going to 16. So then these 16s will then go up at the back of the space. They'll be picked up and they go into these big ERV units. And that's how they recycle the air. So this is the stage, it's kind of messy and ugly, but it's the most, one of the most important stages for each one of these has to be exactly in line perfectly. So. These are the 16, right? These are the 12s. 12? Yeah, they're 13 inches, but they're 12 inches in, inside diameter. Okay. Yeah. Wow. 16s are the bigger ones all the way at the end. So, they, so for, for everyone to know the exhaust, it pretty much how deep below comparing to the uh, the water line, the, the drainage? Right? So that's an interesting thing. It depends upon the, what we're given. In this particular case, we're able to put the exhaust lower, which is my preference, mm -hmm. and then the plumbing up. Mm -hmm. And so we will do that. So in this case, this exhaust in some of those areas there is almost uh, four feet deep. Mm. So um, we're about four feet deep and the plumbing will run just above that. So we'll okay. have the plumbing run at about maybe three feet deep at its, at its um, shallowest point going back the deepest point which they're kind of working on right now as well. So pretty much next to all the, the exhaust for the pedicure. The, the exhaust, mm -hmm. this four inch exhaust here, mm -hmm. goes directly underneath the, the bowl of the pedicure station. Then right behind it will go the three inch um, sewer mm -hmm. for the actual draining of the bowl. And then back here where I'm standing here will go the electric and the water supply to the chair. So we do the layout in about a day, but then um, it takes about uh, 21 days to actually do the complete exhaust underground. Okay. And um, we had a little bit of a, a, a hiccup here with the supply chain issue, mm -hmm. where some of the these bend, the larger bends. That yeah, are Ashley mentioned that, right? Yeah. The shorted. So we lost about uh, 10 days wow. because they couldn't come up with the um, like that big 90 over there. Okay, the elbow. Yep. So that was kind of a kind of a pain. Uh, we already had one inspection thus far, mm -hmm. and that was for the first portion, which was everything that's here. Mm -hmm. um, so we could actually bury it. As you can see, that's all buried. What does he look for? The inspector look for? Paint? So he's going to look for the pipe sizes mostly to make uh -huh. sure they represent the same on the plan. Mm -hmm. And he's going to also look for the routing to make sure it's somewhat similar to what's on the plan. Okay. And then a look, he's also looking for a, a 16 in, inch of a of a basically oh. flow, okay. which is kind of crazy because it's just exhaust, but that's something that's part of the plan as well. I see. Once we get all this backfilled, then we'll start with the plumbing. Mm -hmm. And after the plumbing is complete, then all these pipes will be cut approximately three inches above grade. Okay, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so they'll be just right below, because as you know, the code requires us to be within 12 inches of they call the source. Right. Uh -huh. so the pedicure bowl will be right here okay and the manicure station says you recall we bring these up right up the leg mm -hmm. and they go right to where you do the survey you can see here I've done the template each of these have to, to meet perfectly oh, I see so we've got a 10 inch leg with basically an 8 inch area that mm -hmm. this can be in to be mm -hmm. so you got each you've got 10 inches 22 inches of space mm -hmm. for the station 
10 inches, 22 inches, 10 inches, 22 inches, 10 inches, and then the next portion out here will be the electric for the station. So right from here, you go 10 more inches, mm -hmm. 22 inches, and the next 10 inches is where the electric will be. I see. Yep. Oh, wow. So you can see so far, these guys have hit it perfectly. The space here, um, the ceiling height is good, Paige? Ceiling height's fantastic. Obviously, one of the things that I love about this is it's mm -hmm. single story, not multifamily. Correct. I mean, multi story. Mm -hmm. And we've got 22 feet to the bottom of the joist. We've got um, plenty of room to do a 14 arch mm -hmm. barrel ceiling, a 15 out front. So, in this particular case, it works great. I got in here early, actually, as you can see. I went ahead and put in my flex sprinklers. Oh, okay. So, that part of the work is done. Mm -hmm. So then when I get my slab poured, um, then I'll be able to come in and do some of the other mm -hmm. high work, mm -hmm. give them a week or so to do that, and then after that, we'll start with framing. You see all these junction boxes up front there? Mm -hmm. All of those will need to have access, and that's a problem because it looks not so great and it's hard to do. So because of code, we're required to give access to all of those. So I'm here in Pompano's. This probably will be the last Venetian nail spa that we built uh, with the traditional uh, uh, look that we always uh, been building. Uh, the upcoming is uh, gonna be starting under construction pretty much uh, a few weeks from now in Houston, Texas. Uh, it is called the Venetian. Um, so uh, I can't wait for that, how that's gonna be turned out. And, um, and we gonna say goodbye to this old traditional look and introducing the new look of the, the Venetian. We are here in Houston, Texas today at the Heights, probably northwest of uh, downtown Houston. So it's an up and coming, well affluent area, over 130,000 average income within like one mile to three miles radius. This is the center that they call the MKT Square that we're gonna go into. Uh, they've been wanting to have a Venetian salon in here. So we are coming in into this MKT Square center. And it's 200,000 square feet of uh, retail and restaurant. 